what's going on sports fans this is sports with Rick my name is Rick and I'm just a regular sports fan I know every recruit and and where they're going and what a five star four star three star looks like I don't I don't really care about that I just follow sports okay today we're going to be talking about my Nebraska Cornhuskers um, and the coaching changes is taking ch a place. You know, Scott Frost is gone. Mickey Joseph's in right now. Uh, and they fire, finally fired uh, Chenander, the, uh, the defensive coach, which I thought probably should have been fired about three years ago. But they finally, Mickey Joseph finally got smart and, and, and fired him. And I hate to anybody to lose a job. Don't get me wrong. But uh, that defense has never looked good. Uh, they 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 said they looked good last year because they kept losing games by only one score against some top teams, and if that was the case, then this year they should have just built on that, not gone to absolutely terrible. I mean, you think terrible. Uh, you look at the the teams we lost to Northwestern. We lost to them. Uh, couldn't hardly stop them. They, they just kept moving down the field. Uh, two weeks later, they or a week later, they lose to a, a very poor team, and they don't move right down the field. I mean, they stopped them. Uh, Georgia Southern, I mean, that was a game, if you watched it, you, you knew that whoever got the ball last was going to win the game. I mean, end of story, it, it, either one of us could stop the other team. And we just look sick. I mean, I just knew if Georgia Southern got the ball with any time left, and that's what happens. We, we score with a minute and a half or two minutes left, and I said, the game's over because Georgia Southern is just going to go down and, and win this game. And, yeah, we almost came back to, to beat them with a field goal miss, but give me a break. That wasn't even a, a good try. So um, definitely a terrible defense. And Georgia Southern – Loses to a, another team, UAB, and they lose by 14. I mean, it, that shows it's a bad sign for Nebraska because that means their defense sucked. So no wonder uh, Mickey Thompson finally pulled the pulled the plug on that. Uh, does that mean we're going to be great in the next few games? No. I mean, you can't make these big coaching changes and just say, okay, now everything's fine. We got rid of Frost and we got rid of the, uh, the defense coordinator and now we're going to win eight games. Now, sorry, it ain't going to happen. Uh, you can't bring those kids together. And if we do win a few games, it'll be a surprise because uh, it's, that's a big change. I feel sorry for Mickey Joseph having to go through this transition because I think he's a good coach. Um, and Nebraska is trying to make a statement saying, Let, we're going to go out and get this well-known coach um, and turn our program around. That just doesn't happen that often. I mean, these well-known coaches, yeah, they still got to get their players, their system, their stuff implanted into football. So all these people that think that, oh, let's go hire this great name coach and he's going to turn our program around and next year we're going to be a, a, a super winning team. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, in, a, in a couple of years, what's happening to the Big Ten? Uh, let's see, USC and UCLA is coming in our way. Uh, in our division, um, that's two tough teams again. We, we don't have the candy-laced division that we should have won a few years ago when we were playing Illinois and Indiana when they were down, um, Northwestern when they were down. Um, you know, Wisconsin was the one we had to beat. We couldn't even beat Wisconsin. So then we couldn't even beat all these downtrodden programs that were in our division, not the Ohio State, Penn State, Oh, those are the tough seasons, you know, when we had to play Ohio State, Michigan State, Michigan, because that's in that other division, and that was a tough schedule. But when we got the easy schedule, we couldn't even do anything then. So the last five years have been, I mean, how can you be happy with four or five wins a year? You know, 
Nebraska fans have to look at this now and say, get us back to eight or nine wins a year. You know, here we fired coaches before because they couldn't win 10 games. Do you, we were doing so well that we weren't happy with nine, eight, nine wins. We were, we wanted 11, 12 wins, you know, with one loss. And we got so complacent being good that we lost the, the realization of an average team. And that's, I'm sorry, that's where Nebraska is right now. They are an average team. We're below average now. But we want to get, I want to get back to at least average where I know we have a chance to win some of these games. You know, I want to play Michigan with this, the feeling we can upset them. Not that we deserve to beat them, that we can actually play with them and make it a good game. I don't, I hate this terminology. We were a good team last year because we only lost by less than a touchdown so many times. No, that is not the sign of a good team. A sign of a good team is you, you, you had the chance to win and you are good enough to use that chance and win, not use that chance and lose. That re brings me back to the old Callahan era. When we were, when Callahan was here, it was the same thing as a Scott Frost thing. Good offense, terrible defense. He would never go get, to keep his job, as much as you could have hated Callahan, he had a great offense. The problem with Callahan, he, he, he hated Nebraska tradition. That made you hate Callahan. If Callahan would have been smart, he would have said, okay, I'm not going to screw around with Nebraska tradition because I'm a butthead. So let, I'm going to let players get on the field and I'm going to bring them back to, to love Nebraska football. And I'm going to go hire a defensive coordinator. That's all he had to do. Go hire a defensive coordinator. And he could have stayed at Nebraska. Well, maybe not because <coughs> people hate, <coughs> excuse me, because people hated his uh, lack of tradition that he, he wanted to use at Nebraska. He needed to stay with Nebraska tradition, but he would have lasted longer if he would have hired a stupid defensive coordinator. We were losing games 52 to 48, uh, 48 to 42, the same thing because we couldn't stop anybody. It was old Big Eight or Big Eight football where it's just go up and down the, the field or 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 Pac-12 football whatever it is going up up and down fields and and seeing 52 to 48 games. That's not Nebraska football. Sorry, Nebraska football is stay in the 35 to 40 range. And don't let the other team score 20. That used to be Nebraska football. Defense, stop the other team. You outscore them by two touchdowns. Or back in the big eight days, you score, you beat Kansas and, and K-State by 40 or 50. Remember when the, the, the spreads were that high because we were so dominant? But we had a offense that... I'm not saying go back to running the ball, but I do like uh, our running game right now. I do like our running game. I like our mix. Uh, but back then, we run the ball, and then every once in a while, throw a pass. I like the passing game, and but mix it up with some runs. Make them fear our run so they just can't sit back with their ears pinned back and kill our quarterback because our offensive line can't stop anybody. Uh, we really need to work on our offensive line. Um, so I guess the, the whole point of this is, so I was talking about Callahan and defensive. We're, we're going to have to, as fans, take a gut check and go back and really think, how much time are we going to give Nebraska to get back to mediocre? Um we can't keep just, we're paying 
If you looked, we're paying these coaches that used to coach at Nebraska an unbelievable amount. We're, we're leading the nation now paying people that don't work for the university anymore. Um, we can't keep just buying off coaches. Why they extend contracts, I'll never know, especially to a person that hadn't won more than five or six games and we extend a contract, give him more time. He, he was never showing improvement, ever. Uh, so why would we extend a contract to, so we could pay him more money to leave? Uh, just didn't understand that. Uh, so we, we have to find out if we pay a whole bunch more money for a new coach and we only give him three years to get us back up, that's three more years of terrible football while he gets his system in, in Nebraska football. I, I'm almost to the point where I don't need a big name coach. I just need a good coach. I, I, I just need somebody I can believe in. And Mickey Thompson might be that guy. He loves Nebraska. He's energetic. You used to watch Scott on Scott Frost on the sideline, and what did you see? You just saw stoic Scott, never getting excited, never rushing on the. You know, he'd just get mad. But that Mickey Joseph high fives the players. He he gets with involved. That's what I want to see. All right, I want to see that kind of stuff. Um, and I think he'll turn around the program, but he can't do it in eight games. Sorry, if, 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 if you really think that uh, Mickey Joseph can make a good case to stay as our coach, I think all he has to do to me is show us some, some improvement in these eight games. It might be the last two games, but he can't turn around. A, you're giving three years to every other person, and then you expect Mickey Joseph to do a shambles into a winning football in eight games with the toughest part of the schedule coming. Not the easiest part, the toughest part. We lost the easiest part. Now the games are going to get tougher. And, and, and you think that Mickey jo Joseph has a chance of winning seven, eight games? I don't think so. I'm sorry. He might make it close. And if he can make these games close, I think that's a good point for him. Why would we go get this coach from Iowa State that looks like he's leveled off? Yeah, he moved Iowa State up to so many wins, but it looks like it's leveled off. Uh, Kansas, they, they get this coach. Kansas has been a terrible program. And okay, they're 3-0. and Look who they played, though. They're 3-0. and oh, He's turned around their program. Scott Frost won a national championship at UCF, taking them from zero wins to a national championship. But look where he was. He wasn't playing the Big Ten. Makes a difference. So I don't know about these coaches, big name coaches coming in and completely changing our program. If they're completely changing our program, you're going to see a couple bad years. I say give Mickey Joseph a break. Let's give him another year. Then go look at another coach. But don't pay him $80 million to stay here. You can keep Mickey Joseph for less. Wouldn't that save us all money? And also give him a chance next year to show what he can do instead of just saying, take this crappy team and... and, and see what you can do with this. No, <laughs> that's a terrible thing for Mickey. So anyway, thanks for watching. This is Sports with Rick. My opinions might not be popular, but you know, everybody has an opinion. So write me at theboytlife.com uh, or comment and like this video if you like my content and there'll be more of it coming up. Subscribe. That really helps me out. Do some likes. We'll see you later. Down the line. Bye.